The Fraternal Order of Eagles presents the Exo Bionics Exoskeleton. An amazing new device helps spinal cord injured patients to stand and walk again. This futuristic dream is here now. The third generation of the exoskeleton is already in use in 30 hospitals and rehab clinics across the USA. The Eagles are working hard to provide funding so these units can be furnished to rehab facilities for the benefit of our disabled veterans. After you have viewed this video, we are sure you will be moved to act. You all take walking for granted, but there are so many people out there that simply don't have that option in their life. They only have the wheelchair. There have been great advancements in wheelchairs. People live a very full life, but they can't walk. And that is what the bionic suit gives you. I always felt like there was no hope for me. Nine years ago, they told me I would never walk again, no matter what. Now, when people tell me you can't do something, I'm like, oh, oh yes, I can. I feel like there isn't anything out there that I can't do now. We have just introduced a brand new EXO. We're revealing a new step mode. And so there's three modes that we can actually work in. The first mode is first step. It actually allows the therapist to initiate the step so they can train the new user while they're in the machine to feel where that balance point is. And then when they feel that they're at the right spot, the, the physical therapist actually triggers the step. The next progression is to active step, where we actually give the user the ability to trigger the step with their own button push. And so the user, while walking either with crutches or with a walker, when they feel comfortable, they can actually trigger and take the next step. And then the final progression is what we call Pro Step. And with Pro Step, the device itself can actually sense just by the user's gesture and positioning when that user has gotten into the right position that knows they want to take a step, and it actually takes the step for them. So it's very transparent for the user. It's amazing. It's freedom. I'm totally independent, and I don't have to rely on anybody else pressing a button for me. In addition, we are introducing ExoPulse. The Pulse is really a tool that will allow us to stream data from EXO, giving information about the body performance, both to the rehab centers as well as to the users. So we can actually use this data to both improve the user's outcome and improve our future products. We at ExoBionics have introduced the first EXO that is intended for rehabilitation and gait therapy. Ready? Yeah. Step now. It's now available in some of the top rehab centers around the world. I think the exosuit is an exciting new piece of technology because it allows us as therapists to get individuals who have been badly injured, who have significant neurologic damage to their nervous system, and it allows us to get them up and on their feet so that they're weight-bearing and learning how to use that walking pattern again. So it really comes down to this partnership where clinicians and engineers need to work together so that we can advance technology and really make it usable and user-friendly for our individuals to be able to use in the community every single day. It feels unreal, you know, just to feel, I guess, how tall I actually am again. It's just weird to notice all the things that you notice at eye level when you're in a chair versus when you're upright. And it's the little things that count. We are the first European center to work with the exoskeleton. Till now, we treat a very uh, small number of patients. But in terms of neuropsychological aspects, autonomic aspects, and neurological aspects, we have achieved very excellent results. Our patients are very impressed. The ambition is to give to the patients the opportunity to be and feel the freedom from their wheelchair in their own life. We have a lot of patients that spend their life on a wheelchair. We can have a lot of patients now spending their life on exoskeleton. For the first time in history, we are upgrading the body. Now, finally, there is a chance for people who have suffered spinal cord injuries, stroke, cervical palsy, multiple sclerosis, 
to simply have a real option to stand up and walk. Our goal is to help people walk out of rehabilitation. Having the exosuit in my life has redefined what it means to be a paraplegic. In the future, people aren't going to view me as someone who is incapable of doing things. Exoskeletons are not science fiction anymore. They're here, they're a reality, and in fact, they're inevitable. You're just seeing the first model. Karen and I met almost six years ago and then started dating in July 2006. I was injured in October 2008 uh, in a motorcycle accident. At the time, you know, we were just labeled as boyfriend and girlfriend. It's really challenged our relationship to see uh, how strong our love was. You know, I told her, I said, that there was no one that I would rather be with uh, for the rest of my life than her and Natalie. And would you marry me? And, you know, there was no hesitation. She said yes. We got married on May 26, 2012. My wedding day, I, I, it's so hard to describe in words. It was beyond the best day of my life. We decided to do this together after Exo Bionics you know, offered us to walk, um, not just for ourselves, but for our family and our friends. Getting married in Exo. World's first. Just to be able to walk out there and to see everybody standing up and cheering. And then I got to stop, turn, and watch my bride walk out of those doors. Oh my gosh, she's gorgeous. There's just there's nothing like seeing your wife on your wedding day. So we knew what an extraordinary day this was going to be regardless. And then we get this gift of being able to walk together. Being able to kiss my wife standing up, you know, being able to look down at her and grab the side of her head and just embrace a kiss with her. Regardless of what life has brought us, we've overcame. And that we're just gonna have a remarkable life together. It is not science fiction anymore. Robotic legs hitting the retail market. Actually seeing them come into the market and seeing them work and hearing these testimonials, that's where it gets incredibly exciting. To take a giant step forward, getting a former NBA player bionic legs. But decades of research, development, and considerable investment have made bionic technology a reality. One is on the way that will be for home use. An incredible technological advance using robots is now taking center stage. I think the exosuit is an exciting new piece of technology because it allows us as therapists to get individuals up and on their feet who have been badly injured, who have significant neurologic damage to their nervous system, and it allows us to get them up and on their feet in a moving, walking pattern. The chance to walk again it's all thanks to some new technology that's being tested out at 30 hospitals all around. California-based Exobionics has now moved out of the lab and into the mainstream, setting up shop in Cambridge in the UK, their European base. Exoskeletro della Exobionics. Exo should give us the chance to treat patients and to give the opportunity to them to work again in the reality. We have our own device. We are going to integrate it into our therapy program here to give them an opportunity for further mobility. It's just a great feeling. I mean, it's a feeling that it's almost hard to explain because, you know, you take a, the greatest feeling and multiply it by 20 million. That's what it's like. As a starting point, this is absolutely incredible. And where it will go in the next five to ten years is going to be so exciting for people like me.
cuts down on blood clots, it improves circulation, it's better for your muscles, it's better for your bones. It's an all around win and it's a miracle actually, a game changer. Most individuals, the average number of steps, the first time that they strap that suit on mm -hmm. is over 200 steps. Mm. In terms of progress and data capture, that's what makes it remarkable. Again, we've seen exoskeleton suits over the years. There are a number of different companies working on it, but actually come back to me with some data and tell me what's happening and that it's successful, that's powerful. The way Exobionics is moving just allows me to dream so much more of what the future holds with bionic technology. Hi, I'm Candy Tufer-Teller. I'm the Director of Physical Therapy at Craig Hospital. My goal with working with the EXO is to really understand what it does for them and how it potentially could improve their daily lives. We'll go ahead and stand. What we're really trying to show is that where the technology is now, we can implement its use very safely on a daily basis and give everyone the ability to get upright weight bearing and moving. And we all know that that's healthy both for the cardiovascular system as well as the digestive system as well as just the musculoskeletal system to keep us stretched out and moving appropriately. Okay, so we're going to shift left. We've integrated the EXO system into our community-based fitness center called the Peak Center. They will come in on a daily basis and train with the EXO system with a certified physical therapist. If you're a little forward, much better. So I think the exosuit offers us two different pathways. One for those individuals who have incomplete neurologic injuries so that they can be up safely on their feet even when they don't have a lot of movement yet below their level of injury, but we can get them up and try to reteach the nervous system that normal walking pattern. And for some of the patients who have motor complete injuries, who've been in a chair a really long time, it means that first opportunity to get upright getting their system stretched out, being able to be eye to eye with individuals as they're talking. The hope for the future that they will be able to carry on their lives in an upright position again, rather than having to sit in a wheelchair all the time. Or at least give them the hope that they can choose whatever is most efficient for them, whatever's best for them, they can make that choice. Are you ready to act? We sure are. Please open your hearts and your checkbooks and give generously to this wonderful and worthy cause.